Hey guys, welcome to vtshacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss about reflexive relation. So here first we are going to learn the definition of reflexive relation and then we are going to solve few examples on reflexive relation. So here R is a relation in A and for every A belongs to A then A comma A belongs to R then R is said to be a reflexive relation. And now let me explain this concept with the help of an example. So here R is a relation in A, A comma B comma C comma D. So here if R is a reflexive relation then it must contain the order pairs A comma A, B comma B, C comma C and D comma D. Then in such cases we call R is a reflexive relation. And now let us consider another example. So here we have if R contains the order pairs 1 comma 1, 1 comma 3 and 3 comma 3 in the set A 1, 2, 3 and 4 then we have to state whether R is reflexive or not. So here if R is reflexive then it must satisfy the condition if A belongs to A then A comma A must belongs to A. So here we have the order pairs R is equal to 1 comma 1, 1 comma 3 and 3 comma 3. Here we have the elements of the set A as 1, 2, 3 and 4. So here the order pairs 1 comma 1 and 3 comma 3 are satisfying the condition to be a reflexive. But the set R does not contain the order pairs 2 comma 2 and 4 comma 4. So R is not a reflexive relation. So this was a basic introduction on reflexive relation. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtshacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.